a managerial and cost accounting, period costs refer to costs that are not tied to or related to the production of inventory. Examples include selling general and administrative expenses, marketing expenses, CEO salary, and rent expense relating to a corporate office. The costs are not related to the production of inventory and are therefore expensed in the period incurred. Example of period costs The following illustrates costs incurred by a manufacturing company in the first year of operations. $10,000 in direct materials related to the production of a product. $50,000 in salaries related to production workers. $5,000 in rent for the company's corporate office. $2,000 in marketing campaigns. $300 electricity bill related to the company's production facility, and $20,000 in salaries related to the company's accountants. Of the items above, which are period costs that should be expensed in the period incurred? Answer, $5,000 in rent for the company's corporate office, $2,000 in marketing campaigns, and $20,000 in salaries related to the company's accountants are period costs, as they do not relate to the manufacture of products. As such, the total amount of $27,000 should be expensed in the first year of operations. Period costs versus product costs. Every cost incurred by a business can be classified as either a period cost or a product cost. A product cost is incurred during the manufacture of a product, while a period cost is usually incurred over a period of time, irrespective of any manufacturing activity. A product cost is initially recorded as inventory, which is stated on the balance sheet. Once the inventory is sold or otherwise disposed of, it is charged to the cost of goods sold on the income statement. A period cost is charged to expense on the income statement as soon as it is incurred.